It is time to Axe Ike. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Axe Ike. The play. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> where'd you get all that? Where'd you get all them cheeseburgers? <laughs> Put those back in Uncle John Boy's office. <laughs> Get on my stack. <laughs> Sorry, Cracker. Man, man's gotta eat. <laughs> He's a growing boy. The place to go for all... I regress. Yeah. The place to go for all the 411 you need. For all your, uh, 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 what you call, intrapersonal relation shrimpacies. Dig this. Dear Ike, I got this girl I really like. She got a great figure and a fine behind. Mm-hmm. Good so far. <laughs> Things are going great, with one exception. Every time we go out, her three annoying friends just happen to show up. And they ain't the prettiest thing. <laughs> In fact, things is a pretty good way to describe them. I think they hang around my girl because she's the only good-looking popular friend they have. I want to keep seeing her, but she's got more Klingons than Star Trek. <laughs> Signed, Pestered in Petersburg. Dear Pest. Ain't nothing worse than a romantic moment running the ditches by some of your girlfriend's ugly ass buddies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was gonna say. That's good enough. Uh, yeah. Look, you ain't the first player to have his good time uh, 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 smotherated by a gaggle of his girlfriend's googly looking gal pals. <laughs> it happened to everyone. You out at the Red Lobster? I know it's Red Lobster, but the one I go to only has big girls waiting to take. <laughs> You out at the Red Blobs to see what I did? <laughs> Pounding down script, and here comes skanky, skankier, and skankiest. Eating all your damn cheese biscuits and talking about who's gay and so you think you can dance. And let me settle that, all of them. <laughs> There's a couple of ways to handle your situation, and no matter which way it goes, you're going to be good with the hoes. Let me preach on it. Now, 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 the reason these haggard old heifers sniffing after you two lovebirds is because they can't get no date of their own. So they're going to go on your date. Man, what, 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 what's up with that, man? <laughs> and guess how they find out? Your cute little sweetie is sending them tweeties just so they know where you two going to go. And two seconds later, here come the hoes. I understand... It ain't cause she don't love you, it's cause she feels sorry for the skankzilla, hodan, and mouthra. <laughs> what you need to do is send them pound puppies barking after a new bone, my brother. See? This is the time to contact who I call your bail brothers. These is the dudes you know you can call to spring you from the pokey at 3 a.m. The next time you go out with little Miss Patootie, bring your boys for some booty dute. You dig? <laughs> Get them a few drinks and let the good time roll. Don't worry about what your girl said. She'll be so thrilled that her friends have found love, she'll thank you over and over again. And hopefully that thank you will include bacon fat and a vampire costume. You dig? <laughs> now, 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 there is a chance. There is a chance that when your friends show up, they will not be drunk enough to take a run at your problem hoes. Remind them that they owe you. If I don't work, just tell them you got pictures their wives slash girlfriends wouldn't want them to see. Uh, it don't matter if you don't got any. Every dude's got something in the closet, and sometimes uh, it, it, it's another dude. Mm. But if threats don't scare them and they head for the hills, Ike's got that cure for all of your ills. Just find a quiet moment, like when her friends are in the toilet or tying on the feedback at the free Who's Duva bar. <laughs> Whisper in her ear that it's a shame that her friends ain't getting no loving. Then suggest that maybe, just maybe, you should sacrifice your dignity to satisfy their uh, 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 connubial needs. <laughs> One or two things gonna go down. She'll either see herself losing you and run them heifers off herself, or she might go for it and you're gonna be stuck getting busy with the three amigos. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Ain't no plan perfect. So if and you ain't got the sand to carry out the plan, go find a skeezer to go that ain't got no losers in tow. And put your boot in the place where she poops. <laughs> this is Ike. Peace out. If you still want to ask Ike, mail to ask Ike, John Bourne Billy, P.O. Box 19111, Charlotte NC 28219. Or anybody but me at thebigshow.com. Red Blobster. Get it? <laughs>